Hello, hello, hello. It's Kenny Evans here. We got another car video. And this video is going to be about the truth about female nature. And it's a hot topic in modern dating. And it's been really going on since the beginning of time. How to get the most women and how to deal with them wanting to get the best they can get. Oh, and it's so such a, such a, a really simple topic and interesting topic to talk about. Because if you think about it naturally, women are supposed to want to be getting the best they can get. You call it hypergamy. <laughs> the crazy part is hypergamy does not only go with women. It's mainly talked about with women just because of our society. And a lot of guys who are weak men, beta males, non-select men for the Rom Wills fans who do not know how to keep a woman intrigued or get cheated on by a woman or get left by a woman because of their neediness and their weak behavior and their weak game. But hypergamy is essential for human nature to continue and for uh, human nature to be the best it could be. If you think of it by, the, by definition, hypergamy is a woman in this case looking for the best mate she can get. And if she's at a mate, but then she sees the better one, she has the right to go to that better mate for the survival of her children. Therefore, the best chance for future generations to survive as well. You know, so it is very important, actually, for people to be hypergamous, you know, but I want to explain it to you guys um, from a prehistoric uh, position. So if you think about prehistoric humans, men and women, back then they didn't have oh, obviously the Internet and all this different stuff, mirrors that people could look at and see themselves and try to be the best they could be from the external all they had was what they saw you know maybe you'd have rivers or lakes where you could see a reflection of yourself but even then what were you going to do about it you know so all they were really going off of men and women was their interactions the different kind of men and women they saw and naturally women would want the biggest and strongest man as opposed to a, a smaller man, you know, weaker man, and a shorter man, because they had a better chance of survival. Not only them, but their offspring. They would have a better chance of survi uh, producing an offspring that was bigger and stronger. You know, you see a man that is six foot four, 250 pounds back then, before <laughs> all this stuff you know, and you get a petite woman with the curves you know she's gonna feel much more comfortable that he will be able to protect them in case of a saber-toothed tiger came or some sort of velociraptor came and attacked them you know as opposed to a guy who is five foot four 120 pounds you know and obviously had a better chance of protecting their offspring. So naturally, all that biology has come today. And naturally, women are going to want a man who is taller and bigger and stronger. Naturally, that's just how it is. You know, it's still, again, for the survival of not only them, but also the offspring and for producing the best offspring that will survive and produce again and so on and so forth. So don't be getting mad at, at women who, who want to be getting the tallest and the strongest and the biggest best looking guy because that's what they're biologically designed to do in order to keep the human race alive, <laughs> you know? But then again, you, 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 a lot of you guys get mad at women who, who want to go for uh, guys who have money. The old, the money. Women care about money. 
You know, versus the looks. Now they care about money. Money is so important, and that's not true. Money is not important to women. It's not the money that is important to women. It's the ability to gather the money or the resources. Because again, if you go to the prehistoric human days, gathering resources or having money was gathering food. In order to gather, be able to, in order to be a man who could gather resources or food, you had to be able to, or in order to, to be a man who had resources or food, you had to be able to gather those resources or in food. And if you did it, you didn't survive, you didn't eat, you didn't have clothing, you weren't able to make medicines, the stuff that you needed from, for, from that animal, and then you also had to move, so you didn't get to rest, you know? So gathering the, the, the resources and going out for the hunt was very important, and it was very important that you were able to catch the, the, the food or catch the animal successfully so you were able to survive so obviously if you weren't good at that very very often and you failed more times than you you succeeded you died you weren't able to provide for your your family and the, for the the village of the community and therefore you guys were killed off not only you and the woman but the offspring your children and then you were done so resources or money, being able to gather money or resources is very important, again, for survival. You know, it's very important for survival. So biologically, women are attracted and drawn to men who are able to gather resources. You know, even if you want to talk about status, Think about it. Status, status back then, you go with status now, a celebrity, somebody who everybody knows, somebody who people like. That's very important now. But it was even more important then. You wanted to be the person that people liked, the person that people wanted to be around. And that was drawn not only by gathering resources, but also being physically attractive but also, you know, being able to interact with people of the tribe, the men interact with the men. Because if you were well liked by the men, they could help you with their sisters, who, who you know, you could possibly mate it with, or, or their cousins, who you could have possibly made it with, or also other tribes. If you were known as the, 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 the greatest hunter, you could have, if you had a tribe in the, you know, another tribe, they could have gave you their their best um, best female for you to mate at with. You know, so status again was very vital to survival because it means you were well liked and you were well recept received not only with your tribe but also with other tribes. Status was very very important to survival and also keeping people around you you know group of the women the most attractive are going to stick together because they have an opportunity to mate with the most attractive man same with the most attractive men they're going to stick together because they help each other and they it looks better for them but then they also have an opportunity to mate with the most attractive woman you know, so it is very important. Status is very important. You know, but if you talk about the most important thing, the mindset. The mindset of a an alpha male, a strong man, was even more important back then than it is now. Because though as an alpha male back then, if you were you had the looks, the money, and the status, it helped. But you obviously didn't always get the most attractive woman because there's always going to be more attractive men. There's always going to be attractive men. Obviously, back then it was fewer, but 
there was always ones that that you you had to that, that were in competition directly or indirectly obviously it's not as vital nowadays you know the competition between men for women because there's billions and billions of women everywhere but that mindset was very important that alpha mindset imagine you got this big strong prehistoric humans prehistoric man more specifically yeah this big strong man and he's so needy and insecure he's focused on this little petite woman who's with the other women he's worried about what she's doing he's worried about how she feels he's worried about what she feels about him and what she she what she's going to do for him and worried about whether she's going to be going to check for another another man instead of focusing on hunting food focusing on cooking the food focusing on gathering the men and and building that camaraderie you know, instead of all that stuff that he needs for survival, he's focused on this one woman. And that's what you guys do nowadays. But it's worse because there's billions of other women, but you want to focus on one woman. And that's terrible. You don't have that abundance mindset. And because you don't have that abundance mindset, you lose out on women. But back then, if the man did that, he would die. And that woman would die. Because instead of him focus on doing what he had to do to survive, he focused on a woman who's supposed to support him. The woman was supposed to support him. She's not supposed to go out there and worry about, you know, surviving. She wasn't there to 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 to, to hunt. And to, to to she had her own status that she had, but she wasn't the one gathering the man status, you know? And that's the beauty of why women are supposed to be focusing on you as the man. Because it's for their survival. Women are supposed to do that in order to survive. And that's the reason they go for the best man they can get. Hypergamy. It's for survival. And that has still been going on till today. But the beauty of today, as opposed to back then... You have options. If a woman wants to go for the best she could get, leave her alone. You could get other women. But the key for you as a man, a strong man, an alpha male, a select man, you have to build yourself up to be the best you can be. You build yourself up to be the best you can be, then you will be able to get the best woman you can get. But you have to have that abundant mindset and that alpha mindset realize that this one woman does not, you know, want me. You will find other women. And the, and the worst part is back then, the prehistoric human days, if a woman, because the tribes were so small, they had probably, what, 30 people at the most. If none of those women in that tribe wanted you, that could have meant you were done. Your lineage did not move on. And that is why, biologically, we hate rejection from women. Because we think that, oh man, because we got rejected from a woman, our lineage, we will not be able to reproduce. But back then, you either were able to get a woman or you had to leave and find another tribe. And who knows how long that would have taken. But it wasn't just you, it was the other guys who weren't able to attract women in that tribe either. You know, because it's all about survival. It was about survival. But again, fortunately, we don't have to deal with that nowadays. You know, so now all you can do is go find another woman. There's billions. You will never run out of women. You just have to realize that. And you got to be willing to go find another one. If one doesn't want you, go out. You'll be all right. Trust me, you'll be all right. But yes, yes, yes. This is uh, the end, you know, of that one. And how uh, female nature, and the truth of it, is it's natural. <laughs> and it's a good thing. You know, you just have to be the man that they want to be hypergamous with. You got to be the man that they want to be hypergamous with. And don't be mad at the other men that they do want to be hypergamous with. Hypergamous with. Because eventually, 
it will be your turn. You just have to keep on working. But yes, 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 that's all I got for y'all today. Hope y'all liked it. Like, comment, subscribe. Let me know what you think, whether you agree, disagree. Let's have a conversation. Hey, and um, don't forget to uh, hit that notification button, you know, for whenever I load these videos. And hey, if you find value in this video, I'd appreciate it if you guys send me a little donation. You know, that would be cool. I would really appreciate that. You know, and it would let me know that you guys really, really appreciate my work here. You know, and my, my mindset when it comes to this. So, I appreciate it. And until next week, y'all be safe. I'll see y'all.